good to have you guys here. Hey. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Can you guys hear me? Just let me know you can hear me. Hey, Otonia. What's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? Hey, Naya. Hey, Elisha. I say Elisha, but people call Elisha. So I don't know. But we'll, we'll stick to, you know. Guys, I just need you to confirm you can hear me. Okay, thank you, Miracle. <laughs> At least somebody got the memo. Um... I'm trying, you know, because the streets now, people are losing weight. They tell you what you're not doing with your body. So the one I have, I give, okay? But it's so good to have you guys here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Molly, my Molly Ollie. How are you all doing tonight? I am so happy to be back <laughs> on the YouTube streets. I don't know, I'm never really as excited on Instagram like I am on YouTube. YouTube is just like a different vibe for me. My husband was like, ah, babe, you're looking um, spectacular this evening. I said, well, you know, I got to keep it real with my YouTube people. I can't come looking like we don't have dominion. You know, that kind of problem. I cannot look like what I'm, I'm not even going through anything <laughs> except God's goodness. So, but I'm really excited about tonight um, because Man, it's been a minute since my coach and I did anything together. It's been exactly, I'd say, like two years, you know. Um, so I'm really happy that she's, you know, doing this with me tonight. Thank you, Kelechi. <laughs> and hmm, anyway, don't worry. I said I will give you guys gist, so it's okay. Hey, Tosin. Hey, Kelechi. Kelechi, I've missed you on these streets, so... <laughs> Tolu lock by my sweets. How now? Hey guys, I'm so happy you're all here, honestly. Because we're gonna go today. Before um, my coach comes on, let me just warn you. You will not sleep well tonight. So if you have work tomorrow, just call them that perhaps you might be late. Because you will not be sleeping much. I can assure you that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Those are some of the symptoms of having a session. <laughs> um, and there's so many, uh, I would say, like, learning curves that I've come into over the past, I would say, one month. Oh, it's just been an avalanche of so many. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Chidima. Thank you so much. Um, Timmy Lane, how are you now? Tim, Tim. Um, hey, Mathira, how now? How's it going? <laughs> Victoria says she has canceled her shift already. <laughs> I absolutely love that for you. Good, good, good. Yeah, because we, we going to need it. I just have one thing I want to ask everyone on here for, and that is please post on your Instagram, your WhatsApp story for people to join us with the link that you're using um, so that people can do so. All right. So please just get people to join us. Um, one of the things I prayed for and my husband and I just prayed before we started the session was like, God, please just, you know, bring direction to our lives, not just inspiration. I don't just want you to be inspired tonight. I want you to go into the next level of um and dominion sounds like dominion, but it really is a dominion battle right now because there's the battle of the altars. There's the battle of knowledge. What is truth? There's the battle of truth. You know, like what do you say is truth and things like that. And I think for me, more than anything, I asked God, and this was a selfish part of my prayer. I said, I want to be changed by tonight. I really need um, God to invade the parts of my truth and my knowledge in my spirit but also in my reality that is limiting my results because i want you guys to know that this is really hey neka it's been a minute um you know it, it's it's something that i think i'm just tired of like seeing things that are wrong and not knowing how to change it i don't know if there's anyone like that so you see things in maybe people you see things in like yourself, um, even in the world. For me, it's Africa. Africa has always had my heart for, for a while since God sort of gave me that burden or, you know, uh, and it's just been like, God, I, I'm going to need some power. I'm going to need knowledge. I'm going to need a higher level of truth. Let me adjust my 
Do I prefer this? I think I prefer this. Let's see. You know, so anyway, this is where we are tonight. Ooh. Um, so please bear with me. And I, I got this. Oh, see, I'm on this side. This uh, jumper is for you guys. You see it? I got it for you guys. Yeah. This, is, this hour is our hour. This is what it's about. All right. Um, so please scatter it everywhere. We're online. If you are in any of my mastermind groups, in any of, you know, our different um, other little groups that I, I have, please, 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 let's get this show on the road. Tag myself, tag Miss and Fun. Right. So before Miss and Fun comes up, let me just do our quick gist. Guys, how many of you went for summer holiday, even if it's like to a hotel near you, it's fine. It's still summer, okay? Um, so I went on, on, hmm, so I went, <laughs> I went on summer um, very early. I started my summer trips in June. And um, I think this year by far has been one of the, the kind of years that you'd be asking yourself, like how many, um, how many levels of truth do I have to go through? You know, um, how many levels of, how many layers of unpacking and discovery am I gonna have to go through in one year? I'm not saying I want to stop, don't get me wrong, right? I'm just like, how many can one really take? Cause I feel like it's been back to back for me. So I started my summer trips in June, went to New Orleans, you know, went there to um, support someone. And on that as well, the Lord visited me while in New Orleans. And guess what, guys? Please do not be fooled. There is, there are demonic, <laughs> I don't even know what to call it, demonic uh, um, activities every and anywhere. There's no God. I'm telling you. Like the presence of, of it in NOLA was real for me. Like I had to go around the city at some point and just like praying and releasing the presence and power of God you know, because it was something else, you know, but anyway, came back from that, went to London, went to see my mom, my parents, um, and in there as well, the Lord visited me. Now, I'm talking about visitations, and I'd really like for you guys in the comment section to share your summer trips, like, was it all just fun, or did you actually see God in the most mundane things? I'm like, God, I'm on holiday, why are you visiting me, quote, unquote, kind of, but this is God for you, right? He will visit and show up anytime, anyhow he wants to. And I'm glad that he did, you know, meet me in London. Um, and at that time, those of you who we were having our weekly prayer meetings, you'll remember I was saying how this is not the time for you not to know what you're dealing with generational wise. Like some of us came, hey, my just people are in the house. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, wow. Um, hey, Timothy, it's good to see you. Oh, wow. Mm -mm, just in the house. I'm loving it. Hey, Elsie. Um, Naomi says, yeah, she says that about Nola. You see? Um, so, you know, it's, it's just really crazy because at different points when God was visiting me, it felt like I was unpacking again my history and where I come from and what I was thrown into that I didn't know. And this has to be an exercise that you guys take really seriously. Find out what happened before you came on the scene. Find out in your family, why is it that firstborn, this, that, and the other? Look, you're under grace. Jesus has redeemed you from every curse of the law, being made a curse. I get you. But the reality is some things you're facing right now, you don't need to be fighting every war if you understand the root of the problem. So tonight, we're going to be really going into foundational issues. We're going to be going into um, um, the root causes of certain things that you're experiencing and operating in that you really have no business in. And if God helps you tonight, and I know he will, with so much light, with so much um, force. So one of the things God has been teaching me, thank you, God, is there's a force that brings something to action, right? And a lot of people don't have that force. There are so many, so many, so many people that don't have that force. And I pray tonight that that force will push you. You know, like there's just sometimes where you need to break into that next thing. It's not that you will walk into it or you will run into it. 
you break it, right? And that comes through illumination. Um, but anyway, I'm hoping that uh, it's going to be so much fun. Anyway, so went to the United States again, uh, came back to Nigeria, got my family, my husband, my children. Then we went to, where did we go? Oh, yeah, we went to London again, had to go from there because we typically we live between like london nigeria london nigeria that kind of thing hey joshua hey joshua hey baby Salah from switzerland i believe hey honey bunny um yeah so you know um we got to america so i went to kenneth copeland's um yearly conference and boy this is where it all started oh, i've been like a leaf since then like you know <laughs> Um, because thank you, Ashe. But the issue with me right now is that, guys, I want to say this to you. You won't always feel good with new knowledge. I don't know if you've ever encountered that kind of knowledge where you came into it and the thing just so bad you up so bad, it almost like crippled you. Like it's not crippling, but it's almost like, oh my God, how did I not know this? Or how am I not walking in this? Or I knew what I knew. And tonight's session, the reason why I chose it, because, you know, coach gave me that opportunity. She was like, you know, OBA, you choose what we'll talk about, is a statement that I have been saying to myself for the last one year, one whole year. And the statement is this, I am a God. Mm. Mm. That statement was repeated by Dr. Bill Winston at the Kenneth Copeland meeting. People of God. Hey, <laughs> I'm telling you, when he said, I am a God, I just shouted like one villager. I said, yes, it's me. It's me, it's me, it's me. I'm sure the man was like, hold her, hold her. Manifestations, right? I am a God. I am a God. Do you not? <laughs> I started to get excited in my spirit. I was super happy. I was like, oh my God, thank you, Father. All, as in, I, I, and listen, this wasn't the one that was moving me to tears. This was the one that was making me rage in my stomach. Like I knew that this thing was real. Because you know, sometimes you don't want to say these things because it looks like, let me not go say the wrong thing. Let it not look like I started making a, a, a what do you call it? Um, an idol, idol out of myself. Like so many things have been battling with me with that statement. But I know that the Holy Spirit was trying to get me to a higher level. Like, come up, baby, come up. You are God. Have I not said ye are gods? It's a question. Meaning that some of you might forget. You might actually forget do you know what I'm saying? Like, let's not even get it twisted. I am, listen, this is what he calls me. And that's what God is calling all of us. There is no first God, second God, third God. You are a God. After his own likeness, he created it. You came out of a God. Excuse me. Excuse me. You came out. So therefore you are one. We're not trying to announce a new position to you. This is who you are. So tonight is going to be a reminder, but guess what? It's going to be practical because when Miss Mfon and I were speaking a few days ago, you know, I was saying to her, I said there has to be a practical sense of this God-like behavior because I'm God-man. Somebody type that in the chat box. I'm God-man. Yes, because you are doing God work. You are doing God work and you have to do it God's way. Those three levels require a certain level of leadership for yourself, leadership, self. Um, how do I explain this? You need to keep telling yourself this until you see it, right? That I'm God, man. I'm doing God's work, but I must do it God's way. Three things. Take that. God's, I'm God, man. I'm doing God's work, but I must do it God's way. Don't forget this. All right. So tonight, as I said um, on my caption, shots will be fired. So hold yourself like this. Just hold your heart. Anytime you feel it, just hold it. Don't worry. I'm not going to pass out at all. Um, so I have Coach in the studio. I'm just going to add her to the stream. Coach, can you hear me? Let me be sure you can hear me. I can yeah. hear you. Hey. 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 <laughs> we haven't done this for a long time. That's, I don't yeah. know how it's... This, this is the thing. I was like... 
please. It's 9 p.m. We're about to go to bed. Can yeah. we come like with our with our pajamas? I was like, for yeah. you know that Olori is going to her hair is gonna be on flick, her makeup, her lip gloss is gonna be there. I'm like, this this Layla is not gonna even allow us to have a pajamas party. So try and wear a cloth. Yeah, Wait, just do it. See, if you cannot do makeup, at least don't come with your pajamas. <laughs> oh my god so you know the funny thing i didn't want to wear a jumper oh but it was the it look at what it says listen for look it's such a good this you know, hour is out <laughs> okay okay i just thought you know what? I mean, yeah so i this was the reason why so yeah um but it's so good to have you here i'm excited we haven't done this i was telling them all that we haven't done this since i don't know maybe 2021 if i'm not wrong so it's good to have you here by the way those of you who are joining that are coming for our birthday my husband's birthday is coming up next month and i know that he will have my head for this but i did say that for those of you who wanted to come um just uh send a dm i'll put the person's uh link in there you know because i want to see you all those of you that i only see online excuse me we can meet up at the party so yeah um so tonight uh miss Fon, i was just telling them that we are going to the root and the foundation we're going to take out some things but put in new knowledge and truth as well because i think we have to get to the point where that spirit of truth helps us to know what should I take on right now. There's a lot of knowledge available, um, a lot of opinions and things like that. Neka says her tissue is ready. I'm loving it, girl, please. <laughs> Get your tissue. <laughs> See, I have my own notepad. My notepad is ready. I'm ready. You guys, I hope you have yours. Not listen. You can't listen to it um, and be, and you, you won't write. You have to. All right. So, yeah. Um, I do want to say, let me ask this question before I go on. How many of you watched The Monkey King? How was that for you? Those of you that watched The Monkey King, how was it for you? Let's see. The Monkey King. Because <laughs> I know that some people here, they don't play when it comes to movies, right? Now, um, good. Kemi Wallaby watched it. Like, listen, I do not know what kind of confidence this monkey had, but he had a confidence that we need to address. All right. Um, <laughs> how he went from just knowing he was different. I think even that mind. Ooh, something just came into my mind, guys. Remember when um, the elder in the clan, the monkey clan, was trying to get him to have a fear that wasn't really real. That like if he did certain things, he would be banished, all of that. And he just kept defying the, you know, the guy's thoughts. There's a statement that came to my mind that this elder is part of the masses. He's part of the masses. And this is the problem. The masses, they will never, in fact, they will call you, uh, they will say you is idolatry. How can you be calling yourself a god? Who are you to say you're a god? That's how the masses think. That's what that um, elder was doing to the monkey. And the monkey kept telling him, dude, uh -uh. good. That's where I want to be, where I'm breaking the rules. Exactly. You know, a typical leader. Thank you, Nija. Exactly. You know, um, but if you haven't watched it, I'm going to be referring to it at different points when uh, Miss Mfon is speaking as she's our guest. Guys, can you welcome Mike Hoge? since 2017 guys if i bring out pictures for you you'll be cracking up you know she will wake us up at stupid o'clock in the morning miss Fon has her sessions with us her coaching sessions at 9 a.m saturday that's what she used to do for us she would charge us almost i think we were paying like over six thousand dollars we paid i have to put her on the spot sorry guys <laughs> but we were paying Miss Mfon over $6,000 and she'll be telling us to wake up at 9 a.m. I have the screenshots. So I took screenshots. I sent it to her like two days ago. I said, Miss Mfon, see what you've been doing with me for a long time. Look at it. Look at it. But 
all those times were beating us into and molding us into kings and priests that we are all enjoying today. So um, I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to ask some questions. I want you guys as well um, to please, of course, you're welcoming her, but show her hearts. Give me hearts because that's where she is. Like she's in our hearts. She takes a cool bench seat, you know, she doesn't. She's never in my, <laughs> she's never in my DM just over DMing me. Oh no, she's never doing that. She's watching from afar. She's looking at all of us um, and she comes back out at the right time. That's the truth, you know? So please welcome her with hearts. Thank you, Bisola. Thank you, Ijoma. I'm seeing new people here. Lovely, lovely. Um, great to see everyone here. Okay, so. I want you to have your questions ready based off of whatever you hear tonight, and we'll take those questions towards the end of the session, all right? I will ask you to eliminate all distractions, including your phone, except if the phone is what you're using, but you know how we do Twilight School. Please, please, please try and use your laptop. Try and use your laptop. Somebody says you're getting it here for free, exactly. Exactly, but anywho, it's all good. The things we do. All right. So, Miss Fun, how are you doing? Say hello to everyone. I'm sure they're excited to have you. Hi, everyone. Um, <laughs> I like the fact that Oluri has come to report. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> that sounds like a child that they dragged off their bed early in the morning to go <laughs> to school. Um, for some of us here now, we do it at 4 a.m. So, tell her that she's lucky. Um, <laughs> we kind of moved. <laughs> um, wow. yeah. Um, so I'm glad to be here. Lori is one of my favorite people, like teacher's pet. That's <laughs> <it's> like, te <laughs> like teacher's pet. I had to chase her away. Lori like, no, like this. <laughs> I, I sometimes when you see people do daring things, you you kind of like need to go into the story of how they got there. Um, I think Olori was on a quest for something. And, and sometimes when you're looking for you, and I call it looking for your godlikeness, like the, the, the monkey, the monkey, the monkey. Yeah. When Olori said she was using that, I was just like, okay, press play. <laughs> and then I just had this audacious, ugly monkey. Just, just creating chaos all around town yeah. and i'm like oh but this is how we are before yeah. we actually find out where we're supposed to be it feels like chaos they are reporting us for doing this in 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 my case they were reporting me for i remember in in church they reported me to the pastor because they called me to come in and speak to the youth choir or the the children's choir at that time or the youth choir and I remember entering there and I was tired of the youth choir singing on wrong key. I'm like, can we not be excellent? Like, can we really, is it that, is it that there's nobody here who can just press the keys <laughs> for you on the keyboard and you can get it excellently because I'm right. just, my mind is trained towards excellence. So even then, I think I was 18 or something, I was young. Hmm. Then, but I sang, so they're like, oh, come on, come on, encourage the youth choir. And this was my encouragement. My encouragement was like, get it right, guys. <laughs> get it right. Like, stop receiving sympathy applause. Let's stop receiving sympathy applause. Mm. Because you're the youth choir. And I was like, Justin Bieber is our age. Or, or it was just like, I was their age at the time. And I was like, Justin Bieber is your age. And I, I, I was like, look at when Michael Jackson started singing. And I'm like, these guys get keys. If they can get keys, you can get keys. Get it, right. As uh, I was reported to the church pastorage for, they were like, I even used Justin Bieber as an example in the church. I'm like, uh, context, context. I'm trying to say <laughs> that this is someone that's gotten it right. Um, and it's funny that two, like two decades later, it's that excellent, truthful thing that I'm being paid for because mm. it's just like the, the, the nuisance of a monkey. Um, <laughs> you start searching for your God likeness. You start breaking plates. Right. You, you don't know, necessarily know how to use the stick. You, 
you just you just you are just a mess mm -hmm. but you're doing it without knowing that you're doing it and you get into trouble most of the time because you're doing it in the wrong places yeah so i said that to say you know there's a there was a time when olori was like there is something deeper and there's something more that this life i'm living and yeah. and i'm itching um and it feels like there has to be more anybody who has gone through that knows exactly what it is knows what it sounds like um and so i remember when she met me and then she was like do, do everything you can do <laughs> to my outside and I, there was one day in my hotel and i just fell to the floor she's like i don't like like what it's all i was like oh no you know what stand up stand up it's 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 a work you and i get to do the work it's not so much an impartation there is a place for that and i'm like oh you've received you received too much of that you have served mm -hmm. your entire life in church yeah. you've yeah. you've gotten this is for some of you on this call you've you've gotten part down the service part it's just not translating to the to the king part mm. um so uh why i call her teachers pet is that she would with every exercise, she'd be like, Miss Moore, you're teaching here. Okay. Can I come on and sit down on the rooftop of the place that you're teaching? Like, I literally had to be like, no, no, <laughs> you cannot do that. She's like, but I just flew in. Yeah. I'd be in New York and Ola will be in New York. And I'm like, oh. she's like, yeah, I mean, that same city that you have. <laughs> so that meeting that you're going to, can we? Can I go there? Oh yes. Oh, and yes. we did it. it. It was literally there were like different coincidental meetings. She's like, Miss Moe, where are you? I'm like, oh, I'm in Washington. She's like, that that I is. I too, I'm in Washington. Yeah. So we had to see each other. Um so this is all to say I would do this call with Olori because I know that in in searching, she has searched in doing the work she has done and is still doing. Um, so when I like take, when she says I take a step back and I watch, I actually, I watch for implementation because mm -hmm. some of what I teach is hard. Mm -hmm. let's, not, let's not like faff around about it. Some of what I teach is hard. The people who will do it have to have the complete abandon for what they knew before. Right. And really want to enter who they who they are to mm. do it. So I actually sit back and I watch for Im implementation. And and Olori has been one of those people who have to the she will implement, she will fall, she will stand up, she'll be like, Oh, Mr. Fun, this was hard. You didn't <laughs> think me that it's gonna be this hard. And then I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, I mean, you're gonna lose people. Then she's like, Oh, Mr. Fun, I'm losing people. <laughs> My chest. If I want to die, I cannot do it. And I'm like, <laughs> yo, <laughs> man, and I'm like, baby Lolo, what have they done to you this time? But throw her back into the ring because in greatness, we, we must be great. Yeah, right. so handing it over back to you, Lori. Ooh, yeah, I mean, that was well, yeah, it was encapsulated. And I think, you know, half of the people on the call tonight can identify with how it feels not to know how to dig into the godlikeness. Like you just know there's something inside. Can I get into it? Can I, can I just be this thing already? And just like the monkey, you know, I thought it was interesting because he knew, but he kept going. This guy, he just kept going. He was killing. He was using powers. They told him this. He did that. But I love the radical thinking that he had. And I want us to start with that, Miss Mfon, because the reason why I chased you to New York, I chased you to London, I, I was all up in your grill, was because <laughs> it didn't leave me. So sometimes what we want wants us just as much as we want it. Mm -hmm. Like God wants us to be just as great as we want to be great, if not more. So I want us to start from... You know, let's establish some things. Am I really a god? Let's start with that. Mm. 
Wow. You didn't have allow us to start with the shallow end. <laughs> Let's go deep. Let's go deep. The people you share me so far. Let me say pull and away from the shallow oh, end. There's no need. Like, we don't have the time. <laughs> oh, wait. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Another reason. These August, August, they have four months. Four, four, just four months. So that pastor's prophecy of advance. We come to pass. <laughs> of dominion. We come to pass. That's why we are here. So we don't need to start shallow. We all know what we are doing, fasting, praying. Let's go hard. That's why all right. we came. All right, fantastic. I think um, I think that you are a God only to the point you understand your God likeness. Um, in, because I, I honestly think that everybody on this call has been told they are gods before. So I will start by saying this. We've been taught about faith. So faith, have faith. Most of us have been taught blind faith. So I'm not moved by what I, well, no, 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 Larry, you cannot go. You have to come back into the show. You cannot, you cannot separate church and state. Yeah, you're going to be here because I'm going to be passing the mic to you here and there. Um, we've been taught about our God. This is what she wanted to do now. She wanted to put me on the spot like the God said, no. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, we're streaming this. We have to be serious. So, Lori, they, they don't know to, that okay. we are like this usually. They don't usually do, do know that we do this. Oh, my God. Um, I think we've been taught a lot of blind faith. A faith, most of us can can testify to the fact that we've been taught things like where we where we where we were taught about faith. We're taught faith is the substance of things hoped for, is the evidence of things not seen. And we were taught to to have this unquestionable faith, faith mm. that that doesn't question, faith that ultimately believes and we're taught things like you know where there's a seed of doubt our faith doesn't come you know to pass and 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 um there is blind faith but there is faith with understanding right i prefer the latter in fact the latter is what god said you should go for because he says in all things, in all things, in your getting of all things, get understanding. So I think first of all, the the are we are we gods at all starts by by how much you understand. Because I can say yes, you are gods. Right. That's the plain answer, Olori. Yes. Are we God? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yes. But it makes no difference to the hearer. Right. right. You still don't understand that, except you you sat with that truth, unbundled mm. it, like torn it apart, um, faced your, I want to call them inner demons right now, but but you get what I mean. Except you have have gone to war with that that truth it's mm. just words so if olori asks me are we gods the answer is yes you know it you read it in your bible mm -hmm. and say ye are gods you, you even you confess it it was to confess it in church <laughs> just say it i'm a god i'm a god to us circumstances i'm a god to us situations um faith without understanding will kill you 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 will you will know the things to say. You will know the identity, but you will not understand it. It's so it's not in the answer of the question. It's in the understanding of the answer. Mm. So are we gods? Absolutely. How are we gods? Yeah. It's now the how. Can, right. can, can we break this thing down? Can we can we can we understand it working? Do we even know? Um, um, because this is, and this is the reason for understanding your, your, what you believe will be challenged. That's why you get understanding. 
And the Bible says you should have an answer to those that come to ask you the reason for your hope. You should have an answer. You don't have an answer on blind faith. You don't just say, it's what God said. <laughs> That's what a lot of us do. Well, yeah. God said it. I believe it. That settles it. No, that doesn't settle it. <laughs> God said it. <laughs> I believe it. I go for the understanding of it. Then that settles it. Because when I'm asked the question or the reason for my hope, I better have the answer. I, I need to have, and, and, and it's one of the reasons Christians are very haughty. Mm. We're touchy. We, we don't like to admit that we are volatile. We don't. We, we, don't, we don't like to admit it. But you will know how volatile a Christian is when you touch something they believe and, but, but cannot really explain. They can't and prove. We, like we, become, we become, and I say we because I'm, I'm Christian, we become a complete mess. We become, we become almost the angry bunch. At people who touch our beliefs, we don't we don't take the time to explain it. We get angry. Mm. It's a lack of understanding that makes us get that angry. Something has been touched we cannot explain, and even in our explanation, it is it is it is full of mm, <laughs> it's full of wrath. I'm like, why? What is a simple question the person mm -hmm. asks? You. Yeah. Um, so are we God? Yes, to the point that we understand it. Hmm. Now let's let's uh talk about this understand it. So I'm in Nigeria, <clears throat> as I said, I live partly here, partly abroad, and the abroad that people are going to for a better life thinking it will eliminate them from some level of i don't know reality or hardship or whatever but i'm looking at it and i'm like i don't even know who's worse off those over there or, the, or here i'm not even sure anymore because it's it's so real on the outside what's happening but my question now is my, my husband and i were talking yesterday and he was saying how it's a shame that some people who claim to be Christians don't know how to turn situations around despite being confronted with it. So this thing about you will be challenged based off of what you understand. But my issue now is how do gods talk? How do they interact with this knowledge? What's their imagination like? How do they see hardship like what what's that viewpoint of a god because that's how we start to break this thing down like okay i'm i'm married some people are not married on the call what is the reality of how gods interact how do they imagine how do they see themselves exempted from hardship what does that look like hmm. i'm i'm pausing because i this like five answers to your question so i'm like okay this earlier has just said is a buffet yeah eat. but i'm like where where are we started to eat the cow from um we could talk from we could talk from where how they interact with knowledge so when knowledge the facts in front of them but they know their own reality like i know how i'm rolling i don't know about you but we don't roll this this way you know um despite what is happening in, in, in fact, some of us are going to get richer as the economies are falling. That's mm. just what we know. Mm. We know because we know that as the world is saying, there's so much turmoil, there's so much turn down. We are saying we're turning up, we're turning right up. And we see it because the way we interact with our imagination is so different. We see things differently. So that's what I wanted you to expand on. All right. Fantastic. But you see, you said something. A lot of us have said this. A lot of us have said this, you know, when there's a casting down, mm -hmm. we will say there's a lifting up. Mm -hmm. I think it's all the things that we've confessed that have come back to frustrate us. <laughs> I'm I believe, sorry. I believe, I believe that. Because I'm like, yeah, um, um, I'm, a, I'm a city set on a hill. 
um um my light will never go out arise shine for your light has come and the glory of god is risen upon you your gates will not be closed night i think it's our confession we we're now frustrated by our confession so you see people are leaving with that no 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 no. we have a right to leave man we have a right to leave we'll be frustrated we'll be frustrated by this confessions Listen. and that's why you know people keep referring to how many churches are in nigeria and oh there's this number of churches in nigeria and we don't and i'm like look you can you can number the numbers as as long as you want to number if there's a pandemic there's a disease there's a problem somewhere and so if you say when there is casting down we will mm. say there's a lifting up. If, for instance, you say, oh, when I pay my tithe, as 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 there was just one scripture we were taught about tithe, and then they're like, oh, I open the windows of heaven and I'll pour you out a blessing that you will not be able to contain. There was a time in my life I opened my bank account and I said, dear God, you said, if I am right, that like when I pay this, you will rebuke the devourer for my sake, and you pour me out a blazing, and you open up the windows of heaven, and you know, pour me out a blessing I will not be able to contain. I can contain what's in this bank account. Like, I can contain it. <laughs> I can contain it. Sir, I can, so it's either what I'm being taught is wrong, or you are <laughs> wrong. Somebody, Sha, is wrong, or I am, there's something wrong. Like, and yeah. it was from my questioning the things that I saw that were not right, that I started getting answers. One of the critical things in, in that we learn, and this is actually erroneous, is not to question. So for instance, when I started asking people, but you said I will not be able to contain the blessings. I can contain them like air, but can you contain the air that you breathe? I'm like, stop it now. You people say I should put money. I'm the dead. Way I them oh, yeah. like Oh, yeah, I've, I've heard so much. Again, I grew up in church. For those, for, for people who, who think like, oh my gosh, this thing she's, no, I've been Catholic, I've been Presbyterian, I've been Anglican, I've been, I've been Protestant. I've, I've gone around just like you, looking for the God likeness. And, and I'm like, but you say I should not be able to contain those blazing. And now they're like, no, but can you contain the air you breathe? I'm like, but that's, I didn't so air. I sold money. They are like, eh, can you contain? You have 20,000 thoughts per day. Can you contain that? I'm like, but it's not translating. If you will promise me something, when I come back to ask for that thing, stop interpreting it in another way. You said I'll have a 24 hour blazing. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I saw deceit. You, you told me to believe. I didn't get it. And it, it, I had to, because every time the, the, the Christian part of me that has been taught, every time I wanted to question it, I would feel like I was, I was affronting. Yeah. But I'm like, no, but I went for this convention and I right. went for that convention. And they said, is this year that I will blow? And they said, and I actually started confronting, not in, not in, in anger although there was some anger in just i need to understand because i can't do 60 years of my life uh -uh. Uh -uh. turn hoping that god will turn a trick when when you say someone turns a trick it means that oh someone just does something and 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 not knowing this was the this was the part i didn't like not knowing when it would be a miracle or when it would not be it's almost like hit or miss God may come through or he may not come through. And this is, but I'm like, but you say that you are constant. Your principles are sure. Your mm. word is true. Mm. I feel like I am waiting on a Russia roulette something stirs. Like sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. And I'm like, my heart cannot take it. My heart cannot take sowing my last seed. Yay. Because I did that a lot. Hmm. The heart cannot take having constant sacrificial offerings and not know. My my heart cannot take it. It just just like wait on my heart cannot take just not knowing. 
So my quest started from, do you really not want me to know? Let me first understand that. Like, is it, is that your way? Is the mystery of it your way? Hmm. And I remember when I started asking, is the, because is God, is your godliness shrouded in mystery? It seems to be unquestionable. You are the Lord. I've taught those songs. Yeah. But, is it shrouded in mystery, um, um, immortal, invincible, God only wise, in light, inaccessible, hid from my eyes? I'm like, I'm, are you mysterious? If you're mysterious, it means, it means, Olori, that even if I, I bring you to my father and I say, come to him because he will do this for you, I'm not also sure whether he will actually do it. Right. This is true. This is and true. so I started I started questioning the mysterious God. This somewhat bipolar God that is flamboyant on one end. He's like, I'm the owner of the castle on a thousand hills. He's nothing with me to help you. And then you're not helping me. Mm. Mm. Or at least you're not helping me in the way I, I want to be helped or I need to be helped. Or there is just no... There is just no um, um, scalability to it. I can't. I can't build on it. Mm. I, I'm. 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 I'm hoping and wishing. And so, one of the things I started realizing was, you know, a person by who first taught you about the person, right? And it could be a person. It could be a thing. I mean, the first time I went to England. I'm just like, look, I've been reading it and it blighting about cappuccino, cappuccino, cappuccino. So as I landed at the airport, so landed at the airport in, in the in the book and it blighting and all these Mallory Towers, if you ever read those, you'd see like, oh, cappuccino and turkey delights. And remember the Lion Witch and the Wardrobe? I'm like, ah, oh, this turkey delight they're eating. I really, really want to eat it. Um, the way they described it, I had the imagination of it. So I remember landing in Heathrow Airport and the first place I went to was Costa or one of those shops to, mm. to, get, a, to get a cappuccino. And it was to my, in my head, cappuccino tasted like chocolate drink, <laughs> nice type of chocolate drink. I remember the uttermost disappointment that cappuccino was, I was like, what's this bitter drink? Am I supposed to add sugar? Am I supposed to? It was horrible. It was the, it was, it was, I was like, why? Why? Why do you deceive me with all these books? Now, whoever first introduced you to the workings of God right. left an indelible mark on what, who God is. What to expect. Yeah. So it doesn't even matter. Some of us are still on learning what we learned still so if the person introduced you to a mysterious god an unquestionable god that's who you actually are are operating with so i often say we're operating with different gods Ooh. we're operating with different gods we think we worship one god we're operating with different god because we have different perceptions of who god is so some of you are, are operating with with a God that 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 takes before he gives. So every time you really need something, you remember that they said you need to sow in order to get. So <clears throat> most of us, most of us who are who are Protestant, we were taught that we were taught to give God, but we were really taught to exchange. To exchange the smaller for the bigger. And so when I really want something big, the first thing I do is what's the seed? What's the seed? Huh. What's the seed? Um, and while that is not untrue, it is not 100% the fact. Like, And then we say, oh, God doesn't need your money. So why does he constantly ask me for my money? Why? The person who first introduces you to a thing also biases you about that thing it's the reason why the your job in this day and age i often say the people who will 
who will transcend and surpass are people who are willing to unlearn what they learned that may be harming them um so so you your picture of god is i can and i, and I told olori this when we were when we were we we're having a conversation just before this call I said, the reason I talk about God a lot when I coach, and, and I'll just say this and hand, hand it over to her to ask me the next question, because in her question, we're building. I'm going to answer a part of your question, build on it, answer a part of your question, build on it, then bring it all together. Um, I told Olori, the reason I touch on God a lot when I coach is because I cannot coach you into what you are convinced God doesn't want you to have. Mm. Right. I can't coach you into what you are convinced God doesn't want you to have or into something you think God will be angry at you for. There's already a lead. Yeah. Well, I can't coach you to say that you, for instance, you will you should go for more. Think in 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 realms of of amazingness when they taught you to say i just want enough for me and my family and something small to give out because some of you were actually taught that yeah and now you are fighting what you were taught because you're like that's enough for me and my family and a little to give out is not enough to go and buy a house somewhere and someone is is having three and mm. then you're like, no, I don't want, I just want enough for me and my family and just enough to give out. So it goes back to what you said. And, and I and I piggyback on that point where you said the, we're doing things with our imagination. We're mm. doing things with our imagination that if you are not certain or you don't understand how much God wants you to do things there, you won't do it. That's it. You won't do it. Period. That's it. So if Olori is like, okay, let's now, when she says something like, look, as, as, as things are happening, we are, we are moving forward. A lot of us can say, yes, huh? as things are happening, Jack Bain is happening, dollar is increasing. We are moving forward, but you have to get tired of just uh -huh. saying it. Uh -huh. You have to get tired of being part of the rabble rousers that when your pastor talks, or even me, or even Olori, right. when they say something, you're going like, oh, raw, it's deep. No, I want to see how deep your pocket is. Come on. I don't just want you to, to be shouting deep. You have to stop and say, how many years have I been shouting deep? I did that. I'm like, no, I'm not going for any convention again. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm, I, I know how many conventions. I know how many shilos I went to. I know how many I have gone for. And I'm like, it's not that is wrong. Is that I need to stop being part. Like, I need to stop being part of the masses. I really yeah. need to see. I need to understand this thing. And then when you come to God for understanding. Yeah. He's there. He's like, welcome. 100%. I've been, I've been waiting for yeah. you to yeah. get tired of wearing the badge, but not having the results that fit the badge. Because it doesn't please him. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's mm -hmm. that's just like wearing the badge. I'm this. I'm I'm. I'm, I'm we know we have those shirts now. Look, look at Olori's nice shirt. Um, <laughs> thrown grace, grace. Thrown. I'm like. I'm not wearing again until, until, until I come into the knowledge of the truth. Yes. yes. And he also told you that when you come into the knowledge of the truth, guess what? You become a God. That's it. That's it. At that point, you say it and it happens because you've come into the knowledge of the truth. That's is like, look, it's so in all you're getting. Get understanding so that you can own the understanding and the knowledge to then produce it. Mm 
Come on. Don't rely on me mm. to, to bring the magic when I need to bring the magic. And I and when I say I like being practical. The first time Olori ever came to me, she's like, Mrs. Fon, I want this. I know all the things you bring. I know this person has said this about you, and that person has said this about you. I don't have the money for this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so we're going to do two things. First of all, you will never come to me and tell me you don't have the money again. Woo! On this part. That's right. So that there's never a course, because I'm like, I will frustrate you with the courses that I'm going to do. Mm. I'm not going to stop doing courses. It's going to be more and more and more and deeper and deeper as long as God gives me life. And mm. so she was, she was like, don't worry, I'll pay for the first one, the blueprint. And then, oh no, I'll do, I want to do call coaching. I want to just go inside. And I'm like, look, call coaching costs this amount. She's like, hey, <laughs> you know where you want. You're like, no, no, give me that in the supermarket. Give me that. Yeah, give me that. A park, a whole park. Yeah, <laughs> give, me, give, me, give me that. And let me give you the bill. Then you're like, for real. Let me. Um, so when Larry got the bill, she's like, Mr. I don't want to start from the beginning. I want to start from the deep end. I'm like, Larry, you, you have to calm down your spirit. She's like, no, 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 I don't have time. And I remember her saying that. I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. I was like, okay, great. Now let's go. And then when she got the bill, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> but this is this I, re I remember this is i remember what she said she said let me go and come back but the, she didn't only say let me go and come back she said there's some things i need to sell let me go and come back there's some things i need to sell that i in this season i don't need Mm. They are they are nice things, but in this season of my life, I don't need them. Let me go and come back. And then before I knew it, like program coordinator was following up with her. Hi, hello, we're about to start. She's like, I'm coming. I'm co don't worry. I'm I'm coming. This thing that this thing I'm chasing is chasing me. So don't worry. I'm coming. Okay. Um, and then she did. And then she did. She's like, this, I sold this. This is this is the thing. This is and I'm like, okay, so we will start with this so that at some point, something has to shift that if you get a $10,000 bill, yeah. you, you are not, you are not shaking. If you get a $1,000 bill, yeah. you don't even need to say, hey, like, mm. I'm like, this thing has to shift. Mm. And it would only shift if you understand the, the principle of which you're learning, not just the principle itself. Um, and so at some point, I always tell people like, coach, at some point you have to believe that what I'm saying is true. At some point, life will ask you, the results you're getting, is it proving what you're being taught true? Or is it proving what you're being taught a lie? Like, did you set out to prove it true? Or did you set out to prove it a lie? So um, when we say, oh, we are operating at a different level, hmm. we need you to stop lying. Are you really operating at a different exactly. level? Yeah. And if you're not, tell yourself, I'm not. There's there's something wrong with my understanding of my godliness or my godlikeness. There's something, there's something that is not, there's something, there's no magic that is going to happen. There's something that is off. Yeah. I love the fact that you just ended with that because all the while you were speaking, it's almost like I kept seeing like a distorted image that someone has every time they look in the mirror, which is the word of God. Yep. So what they see versus what they're seeing in the word, it's like a mismatch. Like, why can't I just be the head and not the tail? Why can't I be blessed going out, coming in? There's no bad days. I don't have near success syndromes. I'm not constantly waking up at 3 a.m., 7 a.m. every morning praying the same prayers. Gods don't pray the same prayers. They don't. <laughs> They don't have time because they move. Don't even let me go there. But I don't even want to get into anyone's way of praying. That's not my job today. But there's a part of this that I remember when 
you spoke about um this was this this scenario that Miss Mfon is talking about was in 2017, right? And 2017 was the year where I'd had enough. I want you guys to ask yourself, when did I actually tell myself I'm I'm I've had enough with being human? Humans have limitations, humans have problems they constantly are in this um trying to get out of this uh hardship or this that and the other i'm telling you this facts only facts only you get to a point where you understand why jesus said greater works than these the ones he had done shall you do when you come into that level a higher level of i'm, I'm a god i'm a god i get it you need to come into that level. Nobody's saying that your country is not facing problems. Oh, uh, yeah, we get that. But I'm the change factor here. I'm telling you, my, my current project that I'm working on is, is very small money. It's 2.2 million pounds. And this morning when I woke up and I was meditating on it, um, what God said to me was, he said, have you asked me why I put that thought in your mind? Because look, some of the things I'm saying, I can make it practical, but I want you to know that there's also the intangible parts of being a God. Some of it is this our imagination. What really are you accommodating in your mind about your reality? Some of you is only complaints. Olori, I don't like where I am. Olori, I don't, um, I want a bigger YouTube channel. Olori, I want da, 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 da. And I remember the question when Ms. Mfon asked me, hey, I still answered that question with my husband last night, last night, because I was telling him that I put in for something and it was the highest possible in my industry. And he said to me, he said, why do you want it? I've learned to answer the why question because God will not give you this right image if you don't know the purpose of your dominion. We have to go back into why, why do you want the largest YouTube chat? Why? You tell me what's the why here? And trust me, God is not even about your, your family orders. See, all the prayers you are praying in the morning, eh? for those of you that have certain things you do every morning, and it's repetitive, you are a liar. I don't even know who you are praying to. Because the God you are talking to is not deaf. He heard you the first time you prayed that prayer. You don't need to go back. That's not prayers of faith. I'm being drawn back into how you're praying because it's like, since that's what some of you want to use to become gods, then you don't understand that gods don't really pray. We decree. We establish things that have already been said before we came on the scene. We bring those things that be not as though they were because we know that from another realm they are. We bring them in. We then say, okay, God, this dream of 2.2 million pounds, um, what did you have in mind? Kings, gods download from the Godhead. We don't download with, with vision board. You know vision board? Vision board cannot take the dreams of gods because those dreams are expanded. Every time you go to sleep, wake up, it's expanded. The cardboard that you are using, A2, I don't know what size it is. I'm really surprised when some people say, is it my vision board? And then they do it like this. Is that all your mind can encapsulate? Is that it? When some of us for almost four weeks, we are still downloading one blueprint. So I want to ask you today, the blueprint you're working with, because some of you will say, you know, you're going on a retreat. And when you came from that retreat, you know, you got this blueprint. If that blueprint is possible, then it was not from God. I'll say it again. The realm you are supposed to dwell in is the impossible realm. That was the true nature of kings and gods. They are constantly doing impossible things where it's like, no, stop it. Ms. Mfong was telling me um, when we spoke a few days ago, she was giving me, um, because, I mean, I'm going to let you in on it because I love you guys, so I'm going to bring you in on this. She's doing something really massive. And I say massive because when she told me how many days versus what normal people would have done, normal people would have done one hour, two hours with this person she's bringing, then they'll charge us $100,000. <laughs> She's not doing any of, ask her when she told me the price, I was upset because it was pinching me. You know, the 2017 me that could not afford anything. And now that I can call certain numbers, I'm just like, God, where was this thing? <laughs> you have to tell me what is impossible about what you're trying to do. This vision that God recently downloaded and is still unpacking in my head. 
before it enters my mind, before it enters my, like everything is on layers. First, some days I catch it with my spirit. That's the first layer, some days. Other days it's with my mind and my mind is messing up. It's not tuning in. The iOS is still updating. And God's like, okay, send her to what Mfon is doing because she's not bringing the imagination to the fore in the way I want her to. So then you go on social, um, social media, you see someone with a similar thing, you now truncate what was given to you as an imagination so that it can fit and look like what you've seen. Let me tell you, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, was actually the way gods behave. We constantly move in the realm of ears have not heard. And yeah, have you heard what she's doing? Mm, are you joking? Wow. Wow is people's responses to, to God. That's like, wow. God said himself on the seventh day himself, look, he saw what he did. He said, ah, ah, I, I did create. <laughs> Let me say this to you today. If your imagination is constantly using realm earth, like you're, you're looking on what you see other people doing, you know, and I'm saying this to people who are in the creative space because you always need inspiration. Please learn to tap into the God side of you. That God side of you will bring you into a higher realm of creativity that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. You have to learn how to tap out and tap in. Tap out and tap in. So my question, you know, the interesting thing is when I was looking at how to interact with this idea of I am a God, all of that. And it started last year, like I told you at the beginning. I've been on this discovery of like, I am a God, wow. So I asked Miss Mfon, how do gods talk? What don't they say? What do they say? What is it that they are constantly believing that human beings can never? Let me say this to you. I am not human is your real thing, oh, hey. Oh, guys. Okay, let me let me move on to the part that is spooky. There's a spooky part of being a god. And I want us to touch on that, Miss Infon. It's the power part. The power. Now, the power. Oh, this is so good. The power part of your god-like self must, one, understand its ramification. What is the jurisdiction of your power? That is, okay, um, I, I believe it's in Psalms where God says, you, hu you humans, you can have the earth, but you, my sons and daughters, dominate the world systems. I'm asking the question, how can someone who has not paid rent, how can they command power to get the wealth they need to pay for the rent projects pay for children's fees, pay for the holiday. Some people are even mad at God that they could not go on summer holiday or miss some fun. Yet he's telling them, I've given you power. It is he that gave it the power to get wealth. Little things like that. So I want to ask you, what is the power dimension of being a God? What does that look like? And how can we use that to bring ourselves into the realities of what it means to live like a God? Miss Mfon, I promise you, the last day I started flying coach. I'm not joking. I just, because everything is in dimensions. I just said to God, I said, Father, how do you feel about me taking coach? Be real. Let me just know. He said, I call it whatever you call it. So I called it a sin. I called it a sin. There is a sin for me to fly coach. And I don't want to again. He said, eh, so it is. So for when he says, so it is, I said, is that not the same as amen? <laughs> <laughs> he says, so it is. So am I able to command something to the point where God says, so it is? Oh, come on. Mr. Fon, talk to me about this because it, it's still blowing my mind sometimes when I think about it. Uh, so I'm going to answer your question in th three ways. When you say, how can they command power? Um, the, how can they command the power? You can't command the power without knowledge. You can't. It's, it's, it's not, 
knowledge or understanding. It's not, I think we've been taught of commanding spiritual power. So that's why I often, I often talk about you have um, um, learning models. And I'm, I always, if you if you heard me teach, you've heard me teach about learning models. You have learning models of achievement. You have learning yeah. models of failure, right? Olori has a learning model of achievement at doing jumbo seal because she just did one. This yeah. fantastic one. I have a learning model of failure because I've been trying to do jumbo seal since forever. And I've not been able to do it. Um, so this is a learning model of achievement is that you're successful at something. You're successful at doing that thing. Now, the things that go into creating any level learning model of achievements, there are three things. Belief, awareness, principles within the model. Your belief, your awareness, and the principles within the model. Now, I am a god. I have dominion. Um this is this is this is factually true or true now three things have to come to make you have a learning model of achievement for that thing in your head you have to have the awareness so what Olori is doing she's like look have you when the bible says have you not heard you are a god it's like, let me bring that to your awareness. There is awareness first. A lot of us did not know about, about godliness or godlikeness or, or or operating in, in our godliness until there was a Kenneth Hagen or there was a Kenneth Copeland. There was once somebody or there was an, a David Oedipo that brought to, to fore the fact that we are not just ordinary. So someone made you have the awareness then belief then comes from the fact that, oh, actually, I believe it because the people who don't believe it, you mm. have the choice to say, I don't believe, I don't believe this. I don't really believe it. I, I believe that we're nothing but pencil in the hands of the Lord, as mm -hmm. a story used to tell us. Um, I believe that, that and, and there are people who do believe it. There are people who actually have lived their entire life believing that they're nothing but pencil. So where awareness meets belief, two parts of the three-part um, um, or, or the tripartite pact is done. Then it comes to principles within the model, which is what Olori is talking about now, is that how do gods talk? How do they operate? How do they, how do they even think? Mm. You don't learn that in church. Ooh. Ouch. You don't learn that in church. You can learn awareness. Mm. You can get to belief. But you can't learn the principles within the model in church. And so that was one of the first things that I was like, oh, there is a part missing from this. I believe this thing. It's just, I, I believe it. I'm aware of it. So, So what is happening to some of you is that you are aware of it, you believe it, but you are missing the third part, which is how do I operate with this? If you remember the movie Olori talked about in the beginning, there's a stick. There's, mm. there's oh, he knows that the stick has power. He knows that 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 he's special, that first yeah. his specialness seems like loneliness. But you're aware of something, you believe something, and then you have to have the principles within the model how 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 do we wield this power how yeah. how 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 do we play with it how do we then create and i realized that a lot of us were relying on our religion to teach us you yes. that, that's where you go and search out the matter yeah. Ooh, search out. yes so i remember mm -hmm. leaving my safe and comfort zone to go and say, who is doing this at a level mm. i don't care whether they're christians Mm -hmm. Who is doing this at a godlike level? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to learn. Yeah. I also think sometimes religion, especially the way we practice it in, in Africa, kind of stifles us. We're like, I want to go and learn it, but I will only learn it from a Christian. Okay, Christian. Oh, that's not what your Bible said now. That's not what, when did the word Christian even come 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 to bear? Christian is not what God called you. 
<laughs> people who were watching the people that had been with Christ called them. They're like, oh, these people are behaving like Christ. Therefore, let us call them Christian. What I want is I want to go after people behaving like God yeah. in their industry and say, what do you know that I don't know? And so I went around, you could be in the fashion industry. Who's behaving like God in that industry? And what we call it in, in a, a, the language, you know, we're like, who's leading the industry? Who's, mm. who's, having, who's having significant influence in the industry? Mm. Mm. And so, like, I was just like, uh-huh. Well, we're going to take a picture with Jay Bowling. I was going to be like, Jay Bowling, I'm mad, Jay Bo I'm like, great. Like, who's, right. who's, who's touching something? Who has cracked the code somewhere? And, and for some, mm. most people that I would coach, I would say, go, go out, leave, leave the country. Like, mm. leave, like, use your money to do something that moves you into your godliness. Mm -hmm. That's what your money, your money is supposed to be a tool of exchange to get you the thing that you need. So leave your, your, your space and time. You're like, Elon Musk, that means that worship the devil. I'm, I'm like, you're, you're being ignorant here. Right. Because somehow, and, and this is how, this is how conditioned we are without knowing that we're conditioned <laughs> anyone who registers some sort of god likeness hmm. we then start saying they belong to the illuminati hey because they are too outstanding for us too outstanding to understand they're operating in their god likeness and then we ascribe it to the devil Ooh. do you see why i can't coach you into your god likeness hey because you are busy calling Beyonce the devil. <laughs> You're saying her shows are packed because they've made a pact with Illuminati. You, you can't have a packed show now. Mali. Hey, hey. You're not talking about the excellence. The You're not even going there. Forget music. It's just like, ah, I don't want to hear such devilish stuff. That's for mere mortals. No, you will go there. Ooh. God scope out God. It's just like the, let's 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 talk. Let's talk. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't even need to talk. We just need to enter the arena in which you yeah. are in which you are deploying and Come see on. the way in which you deploy and mm -hmm. just be like, okay, my kingdom is small. My kingdom yes. hails your kingdom. My own kingdom is small. Do yes. what do what Queen of Sheba did to Solomon. So I'm like, look, listen, I've heard of you. I've heard of you. I don't care whether you're a Christian or you have 10,000 wives. Like, I'm coming to see what I heard. So principles within the model meant I left my space to hey. go and see other people who were operating in their God likeness. And, and it's, it's one of those people I saw was Paul Martinelli. And, and I'll tell you about him. Um, I had these names. I said I would learn. I would. I would go to the people that my my mentors went to, not the people my peers were going to. Mm. So I didn't want to go to a smaller person who would teach me. I'm like, no. Where's Les Brown? I want to go to where Les Brown is. And then when I would go to Les Brown, I would. I, I wanted to understand what ran behind the system of Les Brown. I'd pull back the curtain. I'd see this person there called Paul Martinelli. I'm like. You are Les Brown's partner, okay? You have a partner like this that is running systems. Just, just, you, because, because you know that there can be a masquerade. Sometimes you want to unmask the masquerade. I always want to know what is behind the scenes. I'm like, I'm listening to Bob Proctor. You go to Bob Proctor, you open the curtain. There's Paul Martinelli there. I'm like, hello, you, I've seen you here again. Then you go to the names in your industry. There's Mary Morrissey. You, 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 you unpack there, and they're like, Bob, you, you. It took, yeah, yeah, too. And then this book, The Secret, a lot of us know about The Secret. Mm -hmm. There was a, a recording done. And then there was this guy called Paul Martinelli again on The Secret. I'm like, it's like you are, you are everywhere. It's like you're legion. You're, mm -hmm. like you are. And then before I knew it, this person called Paul Martinelli 
was the person who, who founded the John Maxwell team. And then there's you pull the curtain behind the John Maxwell. And you find Paul Martinelli again. I'm like, you go out. I must know who you are, who you is, who you, who you really, really is. And then I went in search of this person called Paul Martinelli. Just I and and I saw systems, just a person who understood system, who understood how, the how mm. to, to take a name and make it a make it a brand. Mm. Um, um what needed to what needed to go in place, how to revolutionize the business. And I'm like, I don't want to learn from the outer curtain. I want to learn from the inner. I want to learn what creates the magic not just be awed by the magic. I want to learn what creates the magic. And I would serve on this guy's advisory council. And, and I, till today, I'm still blown away. Now, it, it's taken me, I met him in 2011. This is 2023. So 12 years and going to 13 years. It's taken me that long to say, okay, it's time. And I remember telling Olori, like, I could have brought him for one hour. Yeah. I could have said, let's have an Insta live call. Let's do, let's do this. Let's sit down and do this. But I'm like, I, I know what we, we need to pay to. And most of the people, if you notice, most of the people who invite people, you would see them invite them for one day. Oh, yeah. Pay. Go. And I'm like, no, come and sit with us for four. Like, let's finish. Let's, let's squeeze the well um oh. because i know about principles within the model and how much it changes things awareness and belief changes you principles within the model is the thing that now makes you then affect your world you're yeah. just like okay in deploying yeah. how i deploy yeah so if you ask me, Olori, most of the kings and the gods on this call are missing the principles within the model. Thousand percent. They just stayed as God. Your own godliness is suffocating you. <laughs> it's true because where other people are learning about the principles of the model, you are staying with your godliness. And I'm like, how is it? How is it supposed to produce? Even think about it. Even all the all the movies, all the cartoons we watch, you would see Zeus. They would be like, Zeus, go and learn from this. Mm. You're a god already, but go and learn. Yeah. You're like, oh, you are Superman, but go and learn here. Oh, you are Jesus. Fantastic. You are God. Welcome. But go and learn here. Go, go, go and understand the principles of the model. Go, go and understand. Go and sit in the temple now. Go, go, go and go and go and talk. You could have been just, I'm Jesus, I'm Jesus, I'm in my house doing hum with Mary and Joseph. But for, it tells you from a young age, he started engaging, learning the principles within the model, studying. John the Baptist is like, hey, Luke, I'm not worthy. He's like, no, 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 please, please, let's be learning the principles within the model. So that when it's time, even Paul did the same thing. Paul is like, you know, when you read the the books that Paul wrote, you'll be like, Uncle Yai Busta, mm -hmm. used to boost a lot. Paul is like, if 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 you are this, I'm more this. Mm. In other words, oh, if, you, if you're a legalist, I'm more legal. I studied the principles within the model in that system. If you are here, I've also studied the principles within the model here. If you are here, I'm therefore, I can give you stronger reasons. Mm. I, ca I can speak, Paul could call, Paul could speak authoritatively and convincingly and walk in his god likeness not just out of belief or out of awareness but because he understood the principles within the model and so one of the things i say is that you take a census of of my particular christendom and you find the most ignorant mm -hmm. the most the most content mm in their space i'm like where did you go who did you learn from what what have you paid for what knowledge exchange has happened who helped your mind who who helped you you're like no they're doing convention why 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 are you doing convention every year why <laughs> why because i was telling funny enough, i didn't even know that i had said it to i hadn't said it to Donald, Donald is my director of business and is the closest person to me 
in TDC, in, in, in running the company TDC. And I said, and I was like, oh, my Instagram page reads like a novel. I know it. Whatever I write reads like a novel. Um, and I said, but have I ever told you that I went to go and sit down with the man who wrote Pretty Woman to learn how to write? Hmm. And he's like, no, now you cannot just be saying this thing. You cannot be saying it in passing. Like even till now, this one I don't know about. I'm like, oh yeah, the the, the man who wrote Pretty, Pretty Woman. You can watch Pretty Woman ten thousand times. The the storyline is forever fantastic. And I'm like, oh yeah, I went to Hollywood and I sat down with the man who wrote Pretty Woman. And just to tell me how to write, I went to the woman who wrote the song for Michael Jackson. I think it was Man in the Mirror. Huh. Just Sierra Garrett, and just just like, how did you write Man in the Mirror? How did you write it for Michael Jackson? Hello, come and talk to me. Don't know, like, no, no, no. I've never heard this before. I said because for every skill I found in myself, I've gone after somebody who who has held that industry and dominates most, most of the people are not popular it's, it doesn't have to be what is what is mainstream i'm like you watch pretty woman there's somebody who wrote it there's and so sometimes we go after the popular and i was just like no who and and once you enter this circle they start pointing you out to the next person yeah. or oh, i entered this circle with the man who wrote that and in that place the of the man who wrote that, there was now the woman who wrote um, 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 the song for Michael Jackson. Like, how do you write a song that is like transcends time and space? And was he singing it to the star? Well, what made you write that type of song? And it's not because I didn't know how to do it. It's because I knew how to do it, but I needed to learn the principles within the model. What makes it great? When when do you start? When do you stop? What makes it interesting? Um. So. One of the things that I don't know that we understand is that phrase, study to show yourself approved. Right. We think it means the Bible. Everywhere we've been taught, remember I said, where you are taught a thing, you, you take on the bias of the thing. So we use that part, study to show yourself approved. We use it like, oh, study the word to show yourself approved by God. It's an unconscious thing we interpret. Study to show yourself approved because most of what we heard that was in church when they were referencing the Bible. Study to show yourself approved. A workman that needed not be ashamed or rightly dividing the word of truth. So we've attached it to just the Bible. Mm. And we left the entire thing. It's like, no, study. Go to places. Pay for courses. Go to people. Like, stop the Christianese that we do. It's like, no, I want to follow somebody who only calls God. So we're watching Oprah to say, when will Oprah call God? I don't even know whether she's Christian or she's not Christian. Again, what concerns you? What concerns you? It's like, it's like, it's like, Peter asking Jesus about John. It's like, John, what of John? Then Jesus <laughs> is like, how does it concern you? You follow me. Mm -hmm. So to your point about, about how do God talk, how do God's reason, how do, I would just say it this way because I don't I don't want to spoon feed. I hate spoon feeding people with God talk authoritatively. God's tech, no, no, just simple. God's dominate. Mm. So then the question is, who's dominating somewhere? And why are you not learning from them? Mm -hmm. Why are you not? Why are you not doing what Olori did, packing all your money? Mm. If you found a treasure, you pack mm. everything, and then mm. you go look for it. Like, why are you preserving? Why are you preserving your mundaneness? Mm. Mm. Just, just go. It, it, and it doesn't matter who. It could be your friend. That's the honest truth. It could be your friend. Right. And they're dominating somewhere, time and space. Mm. I have friends that dominate everywhere. I'm just like, oh God, hello, hello, excuse me, excuse me. Should they come back, come back? You, you told that me that you were starting a show. You didn't tell me that the show is going to dominate everywhere mm. so much so mm -hmm. that blog media people are taking their gist from you you are that, that come back now let's have a discussion you should be able to you should be able to do that to the people your friends should be dominating 
their spaces. Back to you, Lori. Mr. Vaughn, you, you, so I'm a kind person, right? Um, I think I learn more and more as I travel, I go to these conferences, I pay for things, as you said. Um, when people ask me, Ulrich, why do you travel so much? Ulrich, you travel a lot. Ask them, at every point I'm traveling, what am I going for? I'm searching something out. I'm taking my money, I'm taking it to, to go and learn from someone. Um, because at some point in my life, it looked like I was the only one it was happening for. Like people were constantly clapping for you. People were constantly, oh, congratulations, congratulations. You can have that too. You just need to learn the principles within the more. It's so simple. And you know, I just want to break this down because Ms. Infant, you have to tell us more about the event that Paul Mattinelli is coming for. And you know what, on behalf of everyone at Twilight School, I want to say a big thank you for bringing him at such an annoyingly small price. <laughs> He's annoying me because I know how much we used to pay. Because you do, do know how much you used to pay. 6,000, then 10,000 for one other one that we did in 2020. $10,000. Ah, okay. This one is a small price. So, but, you know, I think every time they say, you are going to a new level, you say, amen. A new level, amen. You now get to the level, you are not looking. Uh -huh. Sorry, what am I supposed to do? Learn. That's what you do. That's what you do. You are now in a different space, mind space you know, life space, God has helped you, moved you up. What do you do now? You learn. One of the mistakes you will make is thinking you can run old systems with the new level. It won't work. And that's why a lot of people are frustrated because you can see the new level. Some of you are even in it, but you don't know how to maximize it. So I'm just going to ask uh, Ms. Infant to teach us. And if you ask me, Olori, how do, where do you eat? Where do you, this is where I meet, you know, so I'm asking you now, come and eat, because <laughs> this is how kings eat. Huh? We don't eat any how food. Um, you know, I don't even want to diss anybody, but yeah, let, let, let's just hear me some fun. You wanted me to tell you what? Sorry. Tell us more about the event that I am going for with Paul Martinelli and Miss Mfon. And guess what, guys? It's actually in Akwaibomo. Hey, Gagelstick, Gagelstick. All of you are Akwaibomists. Please, there, we will know your true um, patriotism and where it lies. But yes, please tell us. What's All right. Happening? So uh, the event is called the Blueprints of How. A lot of you know that. Um, but it's the seventh year of the seventh year anniversary of the blueprint of how we've done 29 editions of it. So this is going to be the 30th edition. Um, we've done 29 editions in Lagos, in London, in the, in the in New York, um, Atlanta, um, around Africa, Uganda, Kenya, South Africa. We've, we've, we've gone around with the blueprint. Um, so it's now in its seventh year and we wanted to do something significant for, for the anniversary. Now, remember I said the person who taught me a lot and I'll, to, I'll, to, I'll, I'll go into something he taught me because it was Paul Martinelli that taught me about my oneness with God. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't learn that in church. I learned separation from God in church. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't, I don't say this I don't say this to denigrate or, or cast aspersions. It's an unconscious thing we say. We, 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 it's an unconscious thing we teach, the separation. So when we say something like, oh, have you heard God? Have you, um, 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 or sometimes even when we say, have you prayed? There is a... There is a separation that we we unconsciously assume. It's not a conscious thing. It's an unconscious thing. So did you hear God feels like, oh, did you hear Oluri? I'm, I'm separate from Oluri. So did you hear what she said? Um, hmm. I just, I want to, I want to, I want to open this before I go back into talking about so that I don't forget. John 14, 20, because... Some of you are like, no, we didn't open the scripture. Let's open the scripture. I'm a scripture girl. You're. 
It says, in that day, you will know that I am in my Father and you in me and I in you. In that day, in fact, then it goes on to now the, the different translations. When I'm raised to life again, just in case you're wondering what that day is, the, the day has happened. He's like, oh, when this when this whole separation thing, because that's what sin did, caused the separation. He's like, when, when I finish the work that I came to do, in that day, you will know that I am in my Father and you are in me and I am in you. How can I be waiting to hear somebody that I am? <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's all over, Jackie. So in saying things like, oh, has God spoken to you? The, with very good intentions, we were establishing separation without knowing it. I'm waiting to hear God before I move. Is it is a classic case of you unconsciously have placed God here. And and I remember one day, even with knowing this, I remember one day, you know, I was like, okay, God, I'm coming. Let me let me arrange my life so that I can come and now settle and enter you. You know how some of us used to do retreats. We wanna we wanna enter the separation. We're just like God. And and I was I was I was flustered because. I was flustered because I wanted to create some quiet space and time to be able to talk to God. And I was flustered because the quietness was not happening. My phone was here. This person needed me at this moment. And I was, and I just kept saying, God, you know my heart and, and let me sort this out. And at some point, God said, you need to stop. You are in me. I am in you. There is no separation. There is no separation. So that your thoughts are my thoughts. And and the, when you're like, oh, I have this idea and I and I took it to God. You where did the idea come from? I took it to God presumes a separation in that day he says you will come to realize it because you don't yet know it in that day remember i said knowledge awareness in that day you will enter the full awareness mm, mm, mm. that i often say that we form trinity again the way you have god the father god the son god the holy spirit and they're like oh these three are one and he's like, wait, wait, wait. But I added one person into that mix. I added Olori. That's right. That's right. So what then happens is like, oh, I took okay. from my spirit. I put it inside her. Then I okay. now said in that day, you will now realize that I am in my father and you are in me and I am in you. And then there is no separation. So at that point, for what you want to do, I expect you to draw it out of you. Not come, come to me. There's no separation. There's no, there's, there's just you, God. Mm. God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, God the Oluri. Mm. Mm. Right. I'll say that again. God mm. the Father, God the Son, mm. God the Spirit, mm. God the Ukeme, mm. God the Adidoili. God the infant, and it will sound like blasphemy yes. if you don't understand it. Yes, yes. And uh -huh. so he even said it. He's like, look, let me, let me. I think that's the one in um, John 10, 34. Is it's it? in 34. <laughs> I know where you're going. I know where you're <laughs> It's in 34. What can you can you read it? Read it from okay. read it from your end. I got the so, Francesca. So it says <laughs> so Jesus answered, It is written in your own law that God said, You are God's. We know that what the scripture says is true forever. This is John 10 34, GNT. 
It says, we know that it's true forever. And God called those people gods, the people to whom his message was given. It says, as for me, the father chose me, sent me into the world. And then he says, how then can you say that I blaspheme because I said that I am the son of God? Yay! To, to, to. It's over. I want to I want to read something else to to buttress that point that you just said because let me tell you who is going to come against what you just read who came against it in the old testament it was the christians the, the religious people they're like no how dare you who are you they're like what it, jesus is like oh you're looking for god <laughs> oh, well, me, oh, well, me. come on look Wow, okay, look. Um, Jesus is like, what? Oh, you you want to know the father, you want to hear the father. This so imagine me say this. Someone says, Oh, I'm praying to God. I'm like, Oh, you want to hear God? Okay, so phone phone is on the scene. Let me let me tell you. It sounds stupid. Even now, it sounds like someone just comes and says, Oh, I've been really waiting on God. And Olori is like, waiting on God. Oh my baba. Let me shut. Let me say, <laughs> So you're just like, oh, I'm on the scene. Imagine entering the church. Imagine entering a prayer room that people are praying. They want to, yeah, want to know your ways. Want to know? Then you enter. And you're like, I'm on the scene. I'm on the scene. It's is why when people say, oh, I need clarity. That's what the blueprint of how is. I need clarity, Olori. I've been praying to God. It's been it's been bothering me. It's 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 this thing. You are like, I've been looking for the version of me. I'm like, Olori, I'm on the scene. That's that's what I did. I'm like, I'm on the scene. That's what I constantly do. I'm on the scene. Huh. I'm on the scene because why would he then send me if I cannot say I'm on the scene? So when we sing the songs, um, um, I look for a man to send anywhere you, anywhere you <laughs> send me, Lord, send me. That, what's the aim of having a messenger if I constantly have to still go to the, to the person that sent? I'm on the scene. And so when you talk to me, you've spoken to God. Hey. It, it. It, it it will it does sound blasphemous so i have sympathy for those who want to stone jesus i do because it does sound blasphemous but you can you, if you go to anybody i've coached this the, the the i will always point you to him but i'm on the scene hey. i'm on the scene so he said um um in let me read this i think it's philippians 2 philippians 2 6 to 11. because when we when we say oh this this why can we say that it, it, it goes further god knows what you think already he knows what people will think he said who being in the form of God, in the likeness of God, in his image, like you, he say he taught it not robbery to be equal with God. In other words, we think he taught it not robbery. No, he's like, he, he didn't think he was robbing God of anything, of his glory, of his praise, of his to be equal with God. He's like, this is not robbery. This is identity. Come on. This is not robbery. This is not, this is not, I fear, oh, I'm, I'm worried that um, um, God says, my glory will I not share, nor mm. my praise with anyone. That's not what God said. God said, my glory will I not share, nor my praise with graven images. Hmm. You will never share your glory with anybody, almighty God. That is your name. That's a wrong song. That's a wrong song. Let me tell you why. Um, um, John 17, verse 5. I will tell you why. That I, again, when I say it's understanding that has been keeping us bound, I know why. When you talk about dominion, it's not, it's because our first, our first 
foray into these things were taught by people who didn't really yet understand. Not their fault, but it's not our responsibility to dig into truth. John 17, 5. This, you are the Lord, that is your name. Let's go to John 17, 5. Let me, let me, let me open that in my own. John hmm. 17.5. Yep. It says, this is Jesus now I'm talking. This is the person who 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 is the firstborn of Mfon. This is, this is my example. This is the person who says, let me show you who you were before the, before, before the world, before the world gave you its own identity. Let me show you who you were. Jesus now said, now this is, this is, this is Jesus about to go. And I want you to pay attention to the prayers that, that someone like Jesus would pray since we all agree that this per person is perfect. He says, and now. Oh, Father, glorify me mm. Let me just say with thy yeah. own self, mm. with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Mm. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. And so this is my request. Like, oh, I could have said, make the world at peace or give them joy which he did say but he's like now 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 let's get to the heart of the matter give me back my glory this this there there is an exchange there is there's something i had to do in the world now i've done it glorify me with the glory that i had with you in other words I, I did it in the last blueprint and I taught them of how you are you are a sharer of God's glory. In fact, let me open the entire John 17 because I feel like if you read John 17 critically, it will destroy your bias. Verse 5, he says, in fact, Jesus starts from verse 4 to say, um, the hour has come. I'm, I'm reading from verse 1. The, the number of times Jesus mentioned glory in this chapter. If if he were on earth, they'd be like, sir, you are very vain. You are very mm -hmm. vain. It's like, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son. This is like, Father, the hour has come. I give all the glory to you. I give all the praise. I give all the worship. Remember, he did not consider a robbery to be asking God for these things. He didn't say, oh, Father, the hour has come. Now may your will be done. He's like, Father, the hour has come. Glorify me. That your son may also glorify you because who wins when we win? Mm, yeah. Who okay. gets the glory when you win? Mm. It's like, so now let's get to the heart of the matter. Where Jesus is praying for himself at this point. Jesus has prayed for you. He has prayed for the world. Now he's praying for himself. This is what, if Jesus is praying for himself, the disciples says, teach us how to pray. Now Jesus is praying for himself. It's mm. how you pray for yourself. Yeah. Like you can lock your door and say, now Father, glorify me. Mm. Doesn't it sound a bit, a tad bit selfish? Mm. Doesn't it sound... According to what we've been taught, doesn't this sound like off? Mm. But he, he says, why? As you have given him authority over all flesh. I have glorified, and I'm jumping. I just want to get to the glory part. Um, I have glorified you on the earth, verse 4. I have finished the work you've given me to do. And mm. now, oh, Father, glorify me to, again. Uh, uh uncle you asked for it in the beginning game you're not asked for it again and now oh father glorify me together with yourself with the glory i had with you before the world began i've manifested your name to the men who you gave me they were yours you gave them to me so jesus is tracking a history he's like in case you don't even know you think that my coming on the earth was just my coming on there's a history of this thing these people were yours you gave them to me now they have known that all things you have given me are from you. I have given them the words which you have given me. And they've received them. 
and they know that I came forth from you. Some of you read this as the, you sent me. No, it's like, no, I emanated from you. Mm. And they have believed that you sent me. So he, why will he put those two together if they mean the same thing? I came forth from you and then you sent me two different things. Absolutely. You, I am, when you say I am a God extension, I came forth from you, but God extension seemed less. So why don't you just say I am a God? Mm. So God extension, remember the people who wrote the King James Version wrote, um, um, and we are gods because, and they wrote gods in small letter because they couldn't, they couldn't understand how they would write the mm. normal people that cannot spell Yahweh in full. They're <laughs> like, no, let's not write her before we blaspheme. How can we write it there? So th let's go to 22, John 17, 22. After he has talked about the glory, the glory, I've given them your word. The world has hated them. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. And then he then goes to 22 and says, and the glory which you gave me, I have given them. My God. Which part of we will never share your glory with anybody? Like he's telling you of the sharing of the glory. Where did you get that song from? Hmm. And then he even goes in Revelations to say, I have obtained these things for you. And I, part of what he has obtained for you is glory, mm. dominion, power, wealth, riches. It's like, just in case you were mm. wondering what comes with your identity. There's, there's, there's so much. Um, mm. And... The things that we learned, we need to unlearn. Mm -hmm. If we're going to enter our oneness with God, and, and, and so this leads me back to talking about the blueprint, because I remember when I first heard this from Paul, like he didn't, he didn't explain it this way. Again, I had to go and study it. He was just like, you believe in a separation from God for some reason. There's, there's a step. You can never, you can never truly enter the fulfillment of who you are and the dominion you need to carry if you believe in separation. And I'm like, I'm Christian. I don't used to believe in separation. I'm one with God. He's like, nah, not in your speech. You're not. Yeah. In your in your even even in what you have even in so when people say oh Mr. Fun, I don't have the money I'm like that's because you believe in separation mm. because if Jesus says what is yours is mine hmm. and Jesus says I've taken from the Father and I've given it to you 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 the only person who believes that you lack is you and yeah. so the blueprint 70th anniversary i decided to do something i said you know what this this man who had taught me all these things i'm gonna bring him i'm gonna bring him into into nigeria not for one day not for one hour but for four days just to because it's one thing for someone to just come and teach for four days and then and then i'm so when we were talking he was like what do you want me to teach i said i want you to teach your best work your mm. best work and he's like my best work is something called the turning point experience and i said so that's that's what we're gonna do we're gonna merge the blueprint with the turning point experience i will bring the best of me and you bring the best of you and then we teach it and it's funny um you know when you were talking you when we were, we were talking for this call you're like this one I, I feel like you want to you want to flog some of us i say yes i actually want to flog some of you because i'm like I told someone yesterday, life prepares you for your next season. The problem is you don't know when the preparation happens because it's optional. Mm. Life prepares you for whatever you're going to, the next season, the next phase, the next, you can sit down in one room and have an idea. And I often tell, like, I'm like, look, I'm not, I'm not like when you say, this is where I drink from, or me too, I'm like, this is where I eat from, oh. I don't need to talk to him sometimes when i'm having like a crisis or or a decision um, um making point i just go and sit down in a room where paul is teaching i don't i don't we don't need to talk 
I just sit down and 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 he always says, "What's the, what's the, what's the worth of one good idea? What's the value of one good idea? You can just sit down for one good idea." And I've had many good ideas just sitting down in a room where he is, and I'm like, "Look, for the seventh year, I want to make it special. I want to bring him to a choir boom, and then um, for for four days, three days is the blueprint of how and turning point experience." One day is an exclusive day, a day with Paul. And this one, I asked him, I was like, look, where people want to just sit down with you face to face and just, you just teach them of, of, and they have, you know, they can interact and, and all that. So that's why it's four days. The first day, which is a day with Paul, an exclusive day for, for people who just want to fully, intentionally, intensely engage. And then there's three days of the turning point experience. Um, and it's in a choir bomb. And I think the link is there. Olori, can you help me check it? It's, for those of you who want to register, it's theblueprintofhow.com. You can go to theblueprintofhow.com. And just for a teaser, there's a teaser because I was like, just in case they, they think that I'm joking. We're like, there's some virtual people. Um, and then there's, there's a webinar. There's a webinar he's going to teach. He... Paul was a janitor, and I'm not talking janitor, leading janitor. Um, someone said, I don't mind boring to go for this three days course. I love it. By all means, enter the room. But and and you know, someone be like, Oh no, don't. I'm like, no, no, no. Go. This is this is this is this is actually what you go and borrow for. This is this is remember when the Bible says we went to go and get all, all the pots. Went to go and borrow from her neighbor. This is this is actually that kind of thing. The date is the 28th of September to the 1st of October. I've been seeing the ad, but it didn't click. You see, the law was calling you. <laughs> I'm like, no, I dodge it. I dodge it. But now it's it's there. Yes, your very own aquarium. We're coming home. Um, oh, because we wanted we wanted a place that had we wanted to retreat. And I'm mm. like, I know the place. Um, 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 I know the place that we can actually go retreating. So it's going to be in a choir bomb. Um, we're going to have a blast, an amazing time. So uh, it's theblueprintofhow.com. And then for those of you who, 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 who want to know more, we're doing a webinar. I'm doing a webinar with Paul on Saturday. Um, it's called Idea to Empire from idea to empire because Paul was a janitor, a, a janitor. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not talking of senior janitor. No, he's the one that took the mops and mopped the floor. Hmm. And he's now built six multi-million dollar companies, not one. Remember I talked about the principles within the model. It's one thing for someone to build one, to now think for someone to build six and then to go on and build it for other people. And so I'm just like, wait, wait now, before you come, before you come in person, can you just do a webinar, a webinar for anybody just to tell your story? Because you may not have as much time to tell your story um, and, and, and take us through what what helped you translate from from a janitor, two hundred dollars cleaning floors to building six multimillion dollar companies. Um, he's building, he's presently building one, another one, and, and I'm involved in it. And I'm just like, okay, I've been involved in 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 two or three, and I'm just like, okay, he's 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 doing it again. It's one thing, and again, principles within the model, because anything can destroy one thing. Anything can destroy one. But when you have the principles of the model, you can build two, three four five six if someone has built six is someone i want to listen to so even i'm just like he was like okay so we'll teach the webinar together i said you know no i even want to listen to this um um so that that has a separate that one is is the blueprint for some, someone i think someone asked I'm, i was not sure the blueprint the exclusive day with paul is one thousand two hundred dollars the three-day blueprint um, turning point experience is five hundred and, and I think ninety-five dollars, five hundred and ninety-five dollars. So if you have, if you get the bundle together, the exclusive day report and and instead of paying two thousand plus dollars, you pay one thousand seven hundred dollars. So 
<laughs> and let me tell you why Olori is shaking her head. Olori is like, wait, Mr. Fon, is something going on? This is not how I used to charge. And let me tell you what, l- why. First of all, it's the anniversary. Second of all, I know what it takes to pay me or to pay Paul. Paul is somebody that I paid thousands of dollars just to sit, just to sit down, just to sit down with Paul for one hour. Just to just to brainstorm, just just one hour. You you'd pay Paul thousands of dollars, and people have, and I have. And just <laughs> and and so I was like, okay, if we and I sat with the team and I said, if we bring him, how can I crush the prices? And I've, we've done everything to crush the prices so that nobody uses money as an excuse. Mm. <laughs> so nobody uses someone said you're welcome nobody uses nobody uses money as an excuse for why you cannot be in the room um because also because i know that this is a turning point for a lot of people yeah a turning point for a lot of people some of you are like dollar is choking the naira dollar <laughs> is choking the naira but like w- why yeah like naira fights back Naira, stand up from the ground. <laughs> Fight. You deserve it. But I'm like, and, and some of you are about to, I, I'm making decisions based on not your godlikeness, but your economy. Right. You're making decisions. When Lori talked about, oh, you're traveling. I don't know who's worse off there. You're making lifelong decisions because you are not operating in your dominion. And I'm like, don't b- before you before you make that decision come. Mm-hmm. Before you before you before you write off that thing come. Before before you before you go outside of your your strength zone to the area where the herd is. Come and understand the principles within the model. It, it may just change your life. Okay. So there is a webinar, and that that webinar, the webinar coming up on, on, on Saturday, $79. We, we literally are just like, you know, it's three hours with Paul, and is we're just like, you know what? Let's let's give gift. This is seventh year anniversary. We want to give gift. And I say it because I know, I know I'm, I am not, I am very dogged on people investing in the growth and change they want. Mm. Very dogged. I have no, no sympathy to be like, oh, I cannot afford it. I'm like, you, therefore you can afford to stay where you are. Ooh. If you cannot afford an investment in your growth and future, you can afford to actually stay where you are. If yeah. you don't want to stay where you are, and I'm like, why are you taking permission from money mm. to do the thing? It's like, oh, some of you are like, oh, you know, I wanted to do this, but but I'm like, okay, so some of you are saying economy, may I? Money, may I go? Um, and then you don't even know that that's what you're doing. And you're like, I checked my bank account and my I knew that I could not come. But you just done a permission, like money. Is this something I should go? Money's like, mm, you've been a bad girl. You've been a bad, bad girl. Like, you're like, you've been a bad boy. Bad, bad boy. Don't go. Then you're like, huh, and this thing came out and I didn't go. And they told me, oh, why are you doing the money, may I? What do you want to do? What do gods do? When Olori is like, so how do gods talk? How do how do is it is it that think about it? Think about it. You know how you were like, what would Jesus do? WWJD? Hmm. Be like, you know, I would have come more, but ah, as I went to Peter and Judas told me how much is in the post, I was just like, mm. I calculated it, I calculated it. I was like, mm, maybe next time. But hmm. Stop it. Stop it. So that webinar is $79. You can go there right now. Idea, it's it's idea to empirewebinar.com. Idea to empirewebinar.com. I'm I'm sure somebody is posting the link on the um so that's the webinar is coming up this Saturday. So Saturday, I the, the 20, I think Saturday, yes, yeah, Saturday the 26th. Where we're doing it 2 p.m. West African time. Um, I think 9 a.m. EST, depending on where you are in the world. Clear your Saturday. Go register. And then 
the one, the people, the people, I, I always say they're the chosen people who are coming to our choir room to sit <laughs> down in a place. Just sit down with Paul for four good days. Mr. Ford, you know what will happen? When we come out, we'll be looking like fire. You know that, like, when they you, know, you know what I was about to say? For those who are coming to our choir room, I wish you well. I want to say, I wish you well. Um, because you, you, you will be drinking from a fire hose. I don't, I don't know how else to tell you. Um, um, I, I do, I do wish you well, but it's the best type of fire hose you'll be drinking from. And, and you will understand what I mean by the principles within the model. Um, um, the Bible says, buy the truth, sell it not like, like buy, buy into your future, like take what you have. Why, why are you buying? random stuff and also why are you holding on to what you have so tightly the, when you hold on to what you have so tightly it is the assumption of lack that makes you do that someone who understands the flow of money doesn't do that the person who understands the flow of money exchanges it for value they don't hold on to it Money is called currency, current, current, current flows. It doesn't, you can't hold it. Try holding money. Money will tell you that it has a voice. Spend me. So, um, again, the blueprint of how, www.theblueprintofhow.com um, and the webinar this Saturday, uh, idea to empirewebinar.com. And so that's it, Olori. Over to okay. you again. Ah, look, I don't know how to help you more than this. Um, unfortunately, some of us are not as free to coach and do certain things anymore because we're just living some God life agenda out there. But um, I remember when Miss Infon told me about this, um, I think that was in June. We spoke in June about this, so it's been a minute, you know. Um, and she was like, oh, I'm bringing Paul. When she said, I'm bringing Paul, I was like, what? Because we all know what Paul did for her on her journey. <laughs> I didn't even ask anything. I said to her, I said, I beg, um, we're, we're totally, you know, going to be there in, uh, in Acquire Bomb. So guys, I've put the link in there again. Uh, please, please, please. Don't come and ask me in the back, what's the link? This is the link. Click on it. First of all, don't, don't calculate the money. Because I just told you, she didn't even, she's not charging a quarter, up to a quarter of what she used to charge us. This is probably like one eighth or something. It's so, so tiny, you know? Click the link first. Look at what is in front of you. Look at what is required to go. Don't look at what you have. And I'll tell you this, you know, on a practical sense, what I do. Anytime there's something in front of me that I really want to go for it, or I really want to buy it, or I really want to be a part of it, you know, first thing I do is I ask myself, okay, so how much do I have, right? If it's 10, 10K, ask, I wish the programs director was on the, on this meeting when she said to me then it was six thousand dollars guys i probably had like 100k but i knew what i wanted i was like i'm going whether i like it or i do i don't have the money i'm there so i said to her ask miss Mfon. i said can i pay what i have and she was like why not just put yourself on a payment plan that's what she told me she said put yourself on a payment plan Guys, I never missed one payment till I finished everything. I did, and I wasn't working. Oh, I wasn't working then. You know, self-employed is what to what comes today that you use for yourself. All of that. I was still taking allowance from my husband. All those things that I used to do before to keep old body. But I mean, hello, thank God. All the things that you hear, you do, you practice. All the principles you hear, you learn about in these sort of you know, webinars. Imagine being locked up somewhere for four days with this guy. <laughs> when I come out, I'll be smoking. You just see smoke everywhere. You just see my eyes blazing with fire. I'm telling you. Um, but 
I think it's really important for those who um, who want to be a part of the webinar, please, the one on Saturday, I, I've even gotten like a few friends to register as well. I'm like, yo, you need this, you need this, you need this. Because I don't want people telling me their problems again. Just go and get, <laughs> go and get the answer, I beg. Me, Seb, that you're calling me to tell me. Me, Seb, I'm looking for the answers to God mm -hmm. has helped all of us. Let me leave it like that. So please, um, let me see. For those of you who want to come and look, let's make it a thing. Let's go a day before. You understand? Let let the Twilight School people let let me know if you're interested. Just hit me up on like, Instagram. And, and this is let's roll on. Another quick one, just just yeah. FYI, because you said that. Like Potako people are making theirs a road trip. People are coming <laughs> from England. They are already like, should we okay. print shit? I want, I, I, another thing I want you to know is if you are if you are happen to be in Nigeria and you don't come, that's you don't have any excuse. People are coming from Dubai, they're coming from Canada, they're coming from England. And and then you are like, well, let me see. Do I really want to go to our please be on the plane? Thank you mm. very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. So yes, make it a thing. People are coming, people are staying days after because they're like, well, our head is gonna be so hot. We may not want to engage with society so soon. Mr. Fuck, are we have like are we have extra days? Um, <laughs> come, you never know. Yeah, you never yeah. know. All right. Please. Um, so at this point, you know, I think I just want um I, I want to be real honest with you guys. I think it's such a shame that um somehow because we filled our lives with so many activities around church, some of you serve so much in church, you're dead four times a week, you're not even a workout but because you serve in one capacity. So your life is constantly around um, church. And there's nothing wrong with that because I'm a pastor's wife. You guys know I'm close enough to pastor as well. Um, and I realized I had to seek out knowledge about this thing that the word of God says and ensure that I, I dig down, I go down to what is this thing for? What does it mean for me? How do I ensure that I understand this knowledge, not according to how it's preached on Sunday, but how it works in my life on Monday, right? But I know that meetings like the one we're going to be having in Aquaibum, look, I've never even been to Aquaibum, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but please, just for every and any reason, get looking... Look at the form. I've said this before. I, I, there are so many things I've done this week that are so crazy, but it's what faith does. Faith does not say, I don't have. What don't you have? What don't you have? <clears throat> Let's not even go into that. But uh, Miss Infam, thank you so much for joining us. Can we just thank Miss Infam? I love her in the comment section. Just say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you um, for sharing and allowing the Twilight School community to be a part of the Blueprint of How seventh anniversary. Um, they said they can't access the link. Uh, can someone from TDC help me with the link? With the link, which which link can they access? Which one? Um, it's the one that uh, I was given by someone on the team. Can you guys try again? I've just typed. So I'm just typing, typing it in the comments. Okay. Idea. It's really blueprintofhow.com so, idea to empire yeah. webinar.com. So except. So here's another thing. Um, for those of you who say you're out of the country, you can't make it for whatever reason, that's okay. But can you put, can you make sure you attend the webinar on Saturday? Because it's a webinar, right? So there's no excuse for that. Um, and yeah, just let's get, you know, yeah. So the type form is the one for you to come to Acquire Bomb. So just fill that in um, at your earliest. But the one for... See, someone has paid, I love that, for, for my idea to empire. I love that for you. Good job, Erica. See you there on Saturday. Um, at this point, I'm just going to take two questions. Two questions and we're closing out. Two questionne, questionne, questionne. Um, your mindset has not... <laughs> transformation and change are two different things, though. Um Fantastic. I have people saying I'm registering for the webinar right away. It's $79. Yeah. So um, let's get on it. Let's get on it. 
Um, all right, quickly, who has a question that they want Miss Mfon or myself, whoever it is, to... Okay, great. Thank you. Just seeing this now. So I'm going to put that in here. I've seen the Ideas to Empire webinar. I'm posting that right now. Um, so someone wants to know, will the... Miss Mfon, you have a question on screen. You are muted, I think, ma'am. Will the event in Aquaibon be streamed online? No. Enter the no. No. And this is why. The, 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 the blueprint of how the turning point experience is experiential. Yeah. It's experiential. It's, it's, ah, we, we, we tried to stream online the last time and, and it worked. It's just, first of all, it's experiential. Second of all, it's the principle of movement. I agree. Why are you staying where you are and not wanting to move? Mm -hmm. Why? Why? If you're, if they told you you had cancer and the doctor who could operate on you was in Timbuktu, you would get up. It's so I, so I often say a lot of us don't realize because our cancer is an intangible cancer. We don't realize that we have cancer and we, you should treat discontent in your life as cancer. You're, you're like, I wake up today and I'm just feeling like, is this all there is to my life? Just work, home, church, family. I'm like, this is not, I see these people achieving and I'm like, get up, get up, move. I've told you how there are people coming in from all different corners of the world. Like what? It's, it's, it's the comfort that that being virtual has given us but sometimes i've had i've met some of my best best life life mates people that i want to do life with together sitting in conferences oh. i've met I've, I've had the best experiences sitting down and i say sometimes when people are like i said the more the older you grow the more you have to search for these things where you can actually go yeah. and experience things together with a group of people because your environment of association after college and after university, it shrinks to maybe only church. Um, and so you don't have a large pool to fish for, for people to do life with, for people to exchange ideas with, for people to work on your mind where you then now have a meeting of kings, you go there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So no, it will not be streamed. This, this, the, the revolution will not be televised. Ooh, did you hear that? Wow. <laughs> what a wow. Hey, you said the revolution. Will not. May they not say it behind your back. Will May they not come and tell you what a wonder meant you missed to <laughs> not be <laughs> It will not be you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Yeah, Vaughn. I'm going to let you go. Okay. Um, and because I love this statement, Miriam says, people travel far and wide for parties. So what's the excuse? Like, hello, hello. <laughs> I love that. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Okay, guys, I mean, yeah. This is what we we we've been dealing with. Um, <laughs> I've been with Miss Mfon since 2017. So, and it's so interesting because everything about her is a seed that eventually grows and germinates into this amazingness um, over time. And that's what I think she's doing again for us. Something that will keep us for the next you know, five to 10 years is what Paul and herself are joining forces. Two are better than one. So I can't even imagine what's going to go down in a choir bomb. Um, I want to get there like a day or two earlier. And I think um, I'm taking my whole family. I think we'll just go together. My husband and my kids, we're just going to go. Um, my kids may not be able to join, but I know my husband would love to. Um, and if I were you, I would just put that type form on my phone and I won't let it go until I can pay for it. Um, get the emails. Like my eagerness, my searching spirit really 
just wanted to be a part of what she did back in 2017. And I didn't let go until um, um, I was a part of her in a, a, her core, her core team. All right, in the absence of questions, thank you guys for joining the Twilight School August edition. It was so nice having everyone um, out tonight. I'm so glad you all came. Um, as I said um, before a lot of you came up, um, guys, it's time to turn up the volume of your own life. You've got to turn up the volume. You have to turn up the volume. Some of you are even on mute. You know mute? Please, like, no, let's, let's, let's turn up, turn up. Um, also, I think it's important to reiterate that um, there's not going to be another chance for the things that you really want to do again. So I'll explain what that means. I've noticed that when seasons come and like there's a wave of you coming into a higher level of understanding and God wants to open up open you up because you're eager, you are restless, you're all these, you know, different things. When he, when he opens up that portal for you, it is your responsibility to move. Right. Um, and I think for everyone here tonight, there's no excuse because she's not charging 10,000. She's not even charging $5,000. She's not even charging $2,000. It gets me. I don't even know how to explain that. Um, I can't wait to meet you too. I can't wait to meet you too. Please, oh, anyway, I'm, I'm still missing funds. Like, oh, you should have a roomie. I'm like, I'm thinking about it, you know. Um, but yeah, thank you all, everybody. And I will see you in September. Those in Aquai Bomb, come into my DM. Well, let's plan. Let's invade Aquai Bomb. You know, and if you are from Aquai Bomb, hello. You know, come and show us where to eat the street food, night food, all those wonderful, wonderfulness. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Hi, marvelous. Marvelous, marvelous. It's good to see you. It's really nice. I can't even believe y'all didn't have a question today. Of, I'm, I'm shocked. I am shocked because y'all, yeah. you're welcome, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for joining tonight. God bless you. God bless you.